All right, thanks for joining me today. Posted recently a animation which included uh, some curtains moving away and beneath the curtains was a uh, Merry Christmas message. And so there was a request on uh, how I did that. So uh, I'm gonna show you now how to do a curtain animation with a message in behind that curtain. So let's get started. So um, I am going to start with a Facebook post. And um, you'll notice um, only because I had I was using the strip down uh, below, um, the page view strip, uh, that it's come up. But if you don't see that, you can always just um, click it up and um, uh, click it or click it down, whatever uh, you prefer. Uh, now for that um, animation, what I started with was um, creating guides. And if you don't know how to use guides, you'll find them under File, View Settings, and Add Guides. Now, um, this is a default guides that it provides you and you can create custom guides. Guides are great when you need to align things um, from one page to the next. So I'm gonna create a custom uh, guide with two um, guides and um, with no gap, okay? Uh, because what I want is just to know where the middle is for my curtains. Um, so I'll just say add guide and I've added the guide there. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is um, one person in the group wanted to know how um, to do this for a birthday message. So I'll go to design and I'll search for birthday card and um, maybe I will just choose this one okay so I'm just going to come into elements and I'm going to search for uh, curtain and I'm going to use this one and I know that that is um, too big but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that up here and I'm just going to put it on half of my screen and I'm going to take a copy of that and then I'm going to take it and put it on the other half of my screen. And you just want to make sure that when you've done that it all, comes all the way up to the edge and all the way to the at the bottom of the edge so it covers all of your um, birthday message um, behind your curtain. I am going to make a copy of this design and um, you can do that by coming down here and you can say duplicate page and now I'm going to click on the second page. So now I'm on the second page and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my curtains and I'm just going to move them um, back. like that and then I'm going to move this one back and I'll try and move them back um, equally to the same spot on either side. Um, now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to take a copy of this and I'm going to come here and I'm going to move the curtains back. And you're probably wondering, uh, how does that help with the animation? And I'll show you in just a sec, but um, let me duplicate this page one more time. And this is where your message is going to go. Um, the, the message at the end. So I'm just going to come here to text and I'm going to add a text okay and I'm just going to change the font and make that a little bit larger
and I'm just going to bring that in a little bit like that and I'm just going to bring that in the middle okay and so now we need to do the animations so um, I'm going to come here to the first one and I'm going to click right in between so it's a transition between all the pages that you need to add so I'm going to click on this add transition button and I'm going to use the match and move um, and I'm going to increase the duration because I want it to go slow and then I'm going to apply that between all pages okay um, so let's see what that looks like by pressing the play button and you can see up here I need to bring it up a little bit there okay so that looks pretty good um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on the fourth page here and I'm going to add a little bit of an animation um, for this text as well so I'm going to go to animate for the text and I'm going to select the typewriter for that and I'm just going to decrease the speed a little bit and you have the option to do it uh, by character or by word okay and so I'm I've selected the character one Okay, so let's see what that looks like now. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. And so that's how I created the animation. All right, so the final thing that we can do here uh, once we've completed all our animations is we can add audio so if you have your own audio what you'll do is you'll come to uploads and you'll upload your files so if you have an mp3 then you can upload it here um, with regards to what type of audio files you can upload into canva according to google you can upload M M4A, MP3s, OGG, Waves, WebM, and the audio cannot be larger than 250 megabytes. So keep this in mind when you're uploading um, audio into your Canva. And if you did have audio, you would just click here, upload, and you would upload it into your Canva uh, and um, you, you'd probably see it here in this place here. So here these are where all my images are and this is where your uploaded audio would reside. Uh, I am going to go back to elements and um, I'm going to search for uh, birthday Uh, birthday audio so um, I'm just gonna click here audio and these are the options that I have uh, and you can sample uh, the audio uh, if you want that's one That's cute. Um, and um, so on and so on. Now that we've had a chance to listen to some of these um, songs, I think I'm going to go with this one. I seem to like that one, so I'm going to add it. And I'm going to move it to the beginning here. And um, I can see there that it just goes over a little bit. So let's see what that looks like. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy 
Okay, so that seems to uh, be working uh, well. Um, if you needed to adjust the beat, you could do one of two things. You can either use beat sync. Um, you can adjust the um, uh, the beat. So I can see there it's coming out a little bit. I'm just going to try and push that in a little bit so that I get the whole song in there. And I can see here on this side that it's um, coming out a little bit. So I'm going to try and adjust it on that side as well. See, I'm just going to move that in a little bit. And I'm just going to push that back. And you just really have to, um, you just have to play with it a little bit. Uh, now maybe I need to make this one a little longer. So maybe I'll make this one 6.5 seconds and then just stretch it out so that I'm using the whole song. There we go. Okay, so that's a lot better. Now, all right, now, um, so if we take a look again, we have audio effects here. So you can have a fade in and a fade out. Uh, there's nothing to adjust really because the um, audio fits the whole um, video. So there's nothing really to adjust here. Um, we could do beat sync and then what it would do is it would just sync the beat with my video. Um, so you, we can try that. Um, so there we go. It's that's it's synced the audio with the video um, there. So um, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that you've learned something from it. Uh, if you have, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, bye bye my friends.